Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty by Lenore across all my social media platforms. If you would go ahead and thumbs up this video. Go ahead and get a conversation started with me in the in the comment section below. And of course, go ahead and share the video amongst your family, friends, and coworkers. But as you already guessed by the thumbnail, we don't need a long intro. We're gonna go ahead and get into this Sephora haul and what happened with this actual Sephora haul because. After I had went and purchased makeup, Sephora sent out an email earlier this week, late last week, letting you know if you spent $50 by Monday, this coming Monday, then they would send you out a 15% coupon to be using during the first, second week in March. And I'm like, so not only do I get to take advantage of the VIB spring sale whenever that happens, but I have an additional 15% off that I can use to go ahead and try to get some items <laughs> before the Rouge and VIB sale start and a lot of items, poof, go out of stock. So if you're ready to see what came in from the hair care portion of the haul and also the makeup portion of the haul, go ahead and keep watching. You're my bitter one taking me home. So for the first portion of the haul, we're going to go ahead and just look at what I just purchased for the hair care portion of it so where I would be able to get my 15% off in what this week, next week, or whatever it is. You guys still have time to go ahead and make that purchase as well. But there were only really in all honesty three things that I actually wanted to try. I've been hearing so much about this hair care brand and I was like, hey, let me go ahead and give it a try. You know. From the time I cut my hair last year in January uh, to the growth to where it is now, I can't really be, I couldn't be happier with the progress of my hair, how it has thickened up with the actual ponytail and just how thick it's gotten. All I did was just wash my hair, deep condition it, steam it and just blow dry it. I was thinking like, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and flat iron my hair and do it up here. Mm. I was like, I'm not gonna do all that heat. I'm just gonna go throw some braids in it and call it a day. But this really caught my attention. And the first thing that came up was the Opalex. And I went ahead and got the number five. This is the Bond Maintenance Conditioner. It repairs, strengthens, and hydrates for all hair types. Let's go ahead and give you guys a closer look. So with this conditioner, I wasn't at all interested in the actual shampoo, but the conditioner is something I was very, very much so interested in just to really see if for a product that comes in such a small container, it only gives you 8.5 fluid ounces and for the price tag, it is not a cheap product. But I have had it on my list. I have been looking at it for years now and I decided, hey, let's go ahead and give it a try because at this point, when it comes to my hair care regimen, I switch up my products quite often. I do not stick to one thing ever. Like, I try to keep it that way so that way my hair doesn't have a chance to get too used to something and it stops working. But I do have my set rotation crew. So it's not like I have 50 different items I use for my hair. No, it's only about four or five lines that I actually use in my hair, but I'll use one line for a week or two, break off and use another line, break off and use another line. So my hair is constantly being fed different things, constantly being able to readjust to different things. So that in my wild grill hair oil is something that I've been able to attribute to after I cut my hair, the thickness that came back with my hair and also the length that I'm able to retain that. And I started back taking my iron peel since I am anemic. <laughs> if you ever want to see your hair break and shed, be anemic and not take iron. So <laughs> being back on my iron regimen really helped. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a uh, try. And of course, you know, I'm gonna definitely follow up with you guys and let you guys know what I think about it. But the next thing that I got was the actual Opalex Hair Perfector. This is the number three. This is repairs and strengthens on all hair types. And this is just pretty much a treatment that you can put on your hair and actually just really see whether or not it actually works for you. I'm thinking because it says it repairs and strengthens, it's gonna be a protein type treatment. So I'll definitely go ahead and pay attention to this. They say you can use it one time a week for damaged hair 
or two to three times per week and you let it sit on your hair for a minimum of 10 minutes longer if desired rinse shampoo and condition as usual so they are saying that this is going to be a pre-poo protein treatment so this isn't a type of protein treatment that you want to use after washing your hair so you want to go ahead and pre-poo with this wash your hair Go ahead and deep condition and then do your normal styling as usual so i'm actually going to try this two different ways i'm going to try it as pre poo and then i'm going to try it after my actual shampoo and allow this to sit in my hair and while rinsing this out i'll go ahead and take another cheaper conditioner to go on top of that let that sit for five minutes while i'm busy showering and then rinse it all out and let you guys know which way worked better for me or if it didn't work at all for my hair. And my hair is 3C, 4A. That, those are the textures that I have in my hair. So just in case you're wondering, plus I'm text like. So just in case you're wondering, you guys will know. This is the final thing that I actually got. And this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Jelly Sheet Mask, hydrating and soothing. And the reason why I went ahead and got this is because I've been looking at the watermelon line for quite some time and I keep going, Ugh. I'm finally getting my skin back under control. You know, periodically I always get a hormonal breakout. That's never going to give up. This little guy that was right here last time, he's trying to go somewhere. You know, we're almost gone, but whatever, it's a hormonal breakout. But I don't know, it's like once a year or once every about 18 20 months my skin it just go through a horrible purging where it just doesn't want to cooperate you know it doesn't have anything to do with my diet it's just the cycle of when my skin decides it just wants to act up but now that my skin is doing pretty good i'll take a chance <laughs> and just really see if this mask number one is hydrating two if it breaks me out or if it causes my pores to be clogged or if I get any type of whiteheads or blackheads, I'll definitely gotta keep you guys up to date with this. If this works pretty well, then I'll venture off into their line, truly see. But I'm gonna start out with an actual face mask from the line. Just to kinda see, tip, I'll dip my toe in that pond for, I think this is like $8. I'll leave the information for you guys before I jump off into their line. Cause their line, when it comes to skincare, it's affordable. It's not drugstore affordable, but it is Sephora affordable. Because most skincare lines in Sephora are a whole lot more expensive than this line. Most of them are about twice this amount. So we'll go ahead and give that a try too, guys. Now that we're done with the boring hair care and skincare, let's go ahead and get right into the reason why you guys really wanted to see this. So let's go ahead and take a look at the makeup portion of it. Now, I had already... I had already got this before Sephora even sent out that little email and I was like, y'all always try me, y'all always try me. <laughs> but um, what prompted me to go into Sephora, I told you guys, I didn't like the 50 concealer. It didn't work for me. If it worked for you, smooth, cool, I'm happy for you. But for me, it just did. For me, it just sat on top of the skin. It didn't matter what type of foundation I used with it. It didn't matter what type of tool I use to blend it out, different sponges, different brushes, you know, setting it, trying to be a little bit more hydrating with it, you know, putting primer water on it before I actually set it. Not, I tried six or seven different ways to try to make that Fenty concealer work for me. Let me go ahead and go on a rant real quick. I've noticed that I have a problem trying to love hype products that just don't work for me that either they don't work for my skin tone or my skin type. And you know, a product can be so hyped and you like everybody else loves it. Maybe I'm doing something wrong or I, I, I just gotta keep going. Maybe I'll get to that point to where I love it, boo. No, <laughs> I've made the decision that within the first two times of using the product, you know, if I switch up and change how I've used it or how I've applied it and I still don't like it, that bad boy is going back to the store and I'm getting my money back. Like, I'm pretty sure you work pretty hard for your money the same way everybody else does. So for you to keep anything in your makeup collection that does not work for you, your skin type, your skin tone, is too difficult to use, there's too many directions to try to use it, 
or you just can't figure it out. I don't care if it's $2 or if it's $100. If it's not working for you, boo, take it back and get your money back. But while I was taking the Fenty Beauty Concealer back, Sephora also went ahead and put some of the Fenty products on sale. So I've had my eye on this, which is a Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. This is the Kilowatt 4 Freestyle Highlighter Palette. I've had my eye on this palette for quite some time now. And when it went on sale, I think it went on sale, it was on sale for 50% off. And I went ahead and was able to take that concealer back. Not only was I able to get this, but I also got some other stuff as well. But here is the inside of it. And of course, you know, it has the names and information on the actual back of it. With as much space, as much free space as they had on the inside, it would have made sense for them to just go ahead and put those names just right here, just space this out a little bit more and put the names on the inside. But you know, hey, whatever. The one thing, <laughs> there are two products by Fenty Beauty that I love. Any and all face products as far as highlighters. I don't like the foundation, I don't like the concealer, but I love their highlighters. I love the <laughs> Fenty powder. Absolutely love the Fenty powder. Um, I don't like their liquid lipsticks. I don't like their cream lipsticks. Don't like either of those. Um, tried them, got both of them, took them right back. It just didn't work for me um, for the price. And what I'm needing it to do, it just did not work for me and what I'm used to. So this and the powder, now her highlighters can do no wrong as far as I'm concerned. Let's go ahead and bring you in a little closer so you guys can see it. Here's the outside of the packaging. Here's the back with all the names. It does come with the mirror on the inside. And here they are swatched. So I've wanted this for so, quite some time now and I'm happy that I was actually able to get it. And by the swatches, some of them are dual chrome. This one right here on the bottom is a lavender icy purple. <laughs> it comes off a little silver on camera, but trust, it's not. It is so beautiful. Like again, 50 face products. So when I say face, not the foundation, the foundation didn't work for me. But <laughs> their highlighters, man, I just, this right here, yeah, that deep burgundy, that's pretty much gonna be an eyeshadow for me. I don't even know how I would even try to attempt to wear that as a highlighter. But the rest of them, and that icy, that deep water icy blue right there, oh, gonna have, I'm gonna have fun with this because this is not just a highlighter palette, it's also an eyeshadow palette. And it's really great to pop on that inner corner highlight. So yeah, I'll definitely have fun with this. And you guys will see this in an upcoming Get Ready With Me. But the next thing that I went ahead and got from Fenty Beauty, I went ahead and picked up the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. This is her fly liner. And this is in, cause I'm black. <laughs> Riri. But here's the packaging. And here's the liner. Now, what you'll notice is right there on my skin, it feathered. That's just because I have deep lines and wrinkles in my hand, but it actually don't, it doesn't feather when you actually put it on your eyes. It goes on your eyes beautifully. So this, I'm really, really happy with. This is what I have on right now. What you see on my eyes right now is actually this. So I am so stunningly happy and it is black, black, black. I just came from an event tonight. So going to the event, getting up, getting dressed, doing my hair, doing makeup and all that and going to the event. The event lasts about three, almost four hours for a ceremony at my husband's job. When I tell you, baby, I couldn't be more happier with this liner with Rihanna. Couldn't be more happier. So that's one thing that we got. The next thing that we got in, I went ahead and grabbed the Artist Couture. This is a Diamond Lights finisher. And I got mine in the Spotlight Glitz. So we're gonna go ahead and pull you guys in and show you what it looks like up close. And it comes in this little square top end pot. It's so cute. Go ahead and see. Let's do a little bit 
more out for you guys. Comes out as little pellets, <laughs> so cute. There we go. Let's do a better swatch so you guys can actually see. Again, it's one of those highlighters that kind of disappears. It kind of goes a white icy like you just have diamonds. And then it starts to come in with a nice pinky goldy shift. And then it shifts to pure gold, like pure gold light. If you took diamonds dipped in gold and just turned them into a powder, <sighs> Jesus. But then it also has a pink reflex. It's like the see, it goes blinding silver, and then it goes to a pink, and then a gold, and then it just disappears. And it's almost like see how it goes gold. Here comes that pink shift. Then it goes to silver shift, and then it disappears, and boom, here we go with gold again. When I tell you, I just. I just can't like, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's just go ahead cause we ain't got nothing else better to do. Let's go ahead and actually see if it picks up this way. Like you, and that was just a little bit on the tip of the brush, a little bit on the tip of the brush. Boo, you ain't ever gonna have to tell me more than once about Artist Couture. Artist Couture is just one of those brands that when it comes to highlighters, they just get it right. Out the bat, first time out the gate, no additional problems or issues, trust. They just get it right. So very happy about that one. Now, these next two that I saw inside of Sephora, I saw them on a humbug and a whim. And I was just like, eh. It was by Touch of Soul. This is their Metalist. And the first one is the Sparkly Full Pigment and Cream Peach. The second one is in Hold Marberry. So the lighter one is in Cream Peach. And this, again, this is by Touch of Soul. And this one is an hollow mulberry so cute and when i saw them i was like hey eh, whatever they had them on a little stand right next to the stilla glittering glows and i was like let me go play with them let me just see what they're about you know they're pretty pricey for them to be what they are so the first one we'll go ahead and swatch for you and this is what i get for putting my hands on stuff when i walk into sephora i wish my mom could just come smack my hands this cream peach when you look at it, you're going like, this looks just like the Ulta Pots. You know, Ulta has their pressed foil pigments that look just like this. And they're like $10 and baby, they shine for days. And you're looking like, hmm, for this price, stop touching stuff. When you walk into Sephora, either take your return back or go straight for which, no, I just had to touch something. So with this one, I was like, how good can it truly be? And it's just this little peach thing in the pan and it comes off. It is peach. It is a very beautiful peach, but it also has a multi-shimmer undertone with it that just... With these type, you can either literally just run a uh, muted brown in your actual crease and then just pack this on with your fingers do, 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 and be done and out the house. <sighs> if you guys have a chance to go into Sephora and play with them or if you have a chance to see them, again, this is cream peach. Definitely gonna be a win for you. 
and Oxplash. They have like, I think seven or eight. They had seven or eight on a display at my Sephora. And I sat there and spent like 20 minutes playing and swatching all of them. And then I made the mistake of swatching Hollow Mulberry. This like a purple, see there it goes. It's like a purple that shifts to that, that shifts, it, sh it, it, it literally shifts from purple to a greeny silver to a blinding silver to a blackened silver, but it's not dark. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this for you. Again, it's gonna give that silver shine to it, but watch this. be looking like on your eyes that shine I was just like I'm not even gonna ask you where we going because you already know we going everywhere we going to Target we going to Kroger we going to church we going to work we gonna go everywhere you put this on you definitely want to be seen everywhere at every time like there is absolutely no reason like I have never ever seen or had a product that does this complete foil, like just one swipe foil. And I've had the Makeup Geek foils, I've had the Juvia's Place press foils, I've had Natasha Denona press foils, Pat McGrath, Urza Sheer. This is like complete boom pigment. And if you have a chance to go inside your Sephora again, go ahead and play with the Touch and Soul pigments and no I don't do that because you're going to be mad at me and be like Lynn why'd you tell me to do that now I want to spend my money but trust me these are definitely worth it and of course I got a point park this is the wild poppy by Ness fragrances this scent smells so good and I love redeeming my 100 point part my 100 point parts on fragrances for the most part very little skincare do I actually play around with, but Ferguson's, oh my God. These little things, they may be small, but they pack a huge punch and they last for quite some time. Like literally, this lasts longer than my scent bird, believe it or not. Like this, I can roll this on and this will get me through two months before I actually have to go out and purchase the full size one. But this scent right here, it smells fresh. It smells clean. It smells kind of like a man a little bit. Kind of like a man, but it smells like springtime. It smells like it smells like you took a beer. It, 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 it smells like you took a hot shower. You didn't put on your best clothes and you got things to do. You and your little Duval, you about to start singing, living your best life. It smells like little Duval living your best life. It smells this way. The way that song makes you want to bop and dance. This smells like that. That's the best absolute way to describe that. So if you get a chance to go ahead and you can cash in your perks and get this one. And again, this is Wild Poppy by Ness. And the reason why I stopped and was even playing with those touch and soul pressed foil pigments to even begin with was because Stilla had released her new line out and her new line really, 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 really caught my attention with the way they were in the bottles when I saw them on Trend Mood. So I was like, that's something I gotta go in the store and play with. I love my Stella Glitter and Glows. I love them. But these, I was like, let me go ahead and go in the store and play with them. The first one that I got is the Liquid Eyeshadow. And this one is in the shade Spiritual. And it looks like this. And you looking like, wait, what? I'm gonna turn down the light so you guys can see it better. Hold on. This is spiritual. And that little color ring right here, it kind of just threw me off when I saw it. But let me shut, let me show you what spiritual looks like. Spiritual is definitely spiritual. Again, it disappears, completely disappears, depending on how the light is actually hitting your eye. And then boom. Imagine Trophy Wife by Rihanna without that strong yellow-green undertone kicked up on crack. 
And that's what you'll get with spiritual. Spiritual is definitely a must have, must get because it's just like, are you, are you playing with me? Are you kidding me? But while we have that light down, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. The next one is still a liquid eyeshadow. I don't know why they call these liquid eyeshadows when they are clearly glitter, but I guess because of the base is like a full base, you get full pigment from, I don't know. But the next one we got is Psychic. And Psychic, again, looks like this. And I'm looking like, boy, if these don't look like freeze cones and different things like that, like, I don't know if I'm supposed to eat this or put this on my eye. I'm totally confused. But Psychic will have you going on a psychedelic trip. Let me show you why. Psychic, is it purple, like a lavender purple? Is it a silvery blue? Kind of like that blue I just showed you in a Rihanna highlighter palette. Or is it purple? This duo chrome is so pretty. It goes from a muted lavender purple to a blinding sky blue with ripples. When, when the sky kind of meets the water a little bit, it is so pretty. And it is full of sparkles, full of shimmer. And again, I'm like, I, I get it. The pigments are getting a whole lot better now. And the next one that I went ahead and got was Mystic. And Mystic looks like this. And Mystic is, I'm sorry guys, Mystic is a liquid eyeshadow as well. And again, I'm like, am I supposed to eat this? Am I supposed to? I'm totally confused. But Mystic definitely cleared up any confusion that I had. If I could actually swatch it correctly. Oh, that's a horrible swatch. But that's Mystic. You like, whoa, whoa, did Mystic go black? Is Mystic silver? What color is Mystic? Did Mystic just go purple too? I'm totally confused. Is Mystic green? Mystic is a teal. You can see it better there. Mystic is teal, but it will definitely go dark. And then it comes back to a nice teal. Mystic... <sighs> Mystic is a teal, very fine glitter across almost a blackened base when you kind of build it up a little bit. So that's the reason why you'll get that different look where it kind of goes purple because that's the teal sitting on top of the black a little bit. But you'll also see, see where it starts to look a little black and then boom. Again, girls, grab your wigs, grab your ponytails, grab your um, bonnets, grab whatever you need because we about to go everywhere. Wherever you want to go, we gonna go. The last one that I got is a liquid eyeshadow as well. And this is in Hypnotic. And hypnotic, <laughs> hypnotic was very psychedelic. You was like, I don't know if that's gonna be pink, if that's gonna be green, if that's gonna be gold. But I will tell you, hypnotic is an acid trip. There's no other better way to explain this one. It's a purple. Or so you think, no, 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 it's a green across a black and base. So that switch in between the two is going to be like a black and purple until it shifts to the actual green. But then it shifts, boom, full back on purple. And then you start to see, see this, see the way it shifts? You like acid trip, just acid tripping, like. And those are the dual chrome glitters. You can see it better there. When I say any type of mermaid looks you think you want to do, and because of the shift between the green and the purple with all of the glitter in it, that base is kind of darkened a little bit. So this is going to be, whew. It's almost like, where are you going and what are we doing? Again, all four of these were complete acid trips. Like... When I was sitting in the store playing with them, I was just like, I don't, I 
don't understand what took me so long to get them knowing how much I love Stella. Her eyeshadow that come like this, all of her actual liquid eyeshadows, her glitter and glow, her glitter and glow highlighters, like, man, hopefully, if you don't get nothing else, like if you can't somehow or another find this in your local Sephora or online, if it's still on sale, definitely go ahead and get this. The eyeliner is a go. The touch and soles are a go. Like all of the makeup products are 100% go. Hair products, I don't know about that. We're going to have to play that. I don't know about that just yet. But all of the makeup is definitely a go. <laughs> it's a go. And, and a glow because yeah pretty much all highlighters so so if you've made it to this part of the video hopefully you've had a chance to see something you actually like that you'll go get that really just speaks to you on a whole nother level when it comes to just doing something different with your actual eyes without taking a whole lot of work just and line lash go this is definitely your look for you but again thank you so much for spending your time with me and again you know i don't care when you're watching me it could be morning afternoon evening late at night you know when you're up writing your homework paper you know just as a little break for a moment while you're doing a snack you know i'm just very happy that you chose to spend some time with me and of course as always thank you youtube